Oh, got me right in the eyeball. Gosh, darn it. Raul, I can right in the eyeball. Oh, I got that concrete in my eye, man. Gosh, darn it. I don't think I'm going to make it on that next truck. There's no way. I'm going to be way shy. Freaking way shy. Taking forever to get that other truck over here. Let's go. That truck has got to be close to being out of concrete. You going to make it? He's out. No, he ain't. Yeah, he's out now. All right, we got a... It is 5.30 in the morning on Wednesday. This is like a 1,400 square foot house slab. Talks out to about 20 yards. But we're gonna be ripping, baby. Let's see here. Let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Uh, we got a lot going on right now. Yesterday we poured 10 yards of Ashler Slate stamp uh, with the new magnetic Proline stamps. They were awesome. Still a little bit of a learning curve. We had a lot of obstacles, fence posts and different stuff that we had to go around. So it wasn't easy by any means, but we got it done and it turned out really nice. Today we got a house slab. Saturday we're gonna do this garage in the porches for this house. Monday we got a driveway. Tuesday we got a bunch of flat work on a new build in, here in Paradise. So we're busy. We are busy. Holy smokes, look at this thing. brought your baby huh I like it what do you got dough balls oh oh yeah man it was getting light at like 520 a couple weeks ago but yeah 537 right now and we ain't even we ain't even light out yet he told me that it was four and a half inches thick so I ordered 19 and a half yards but when we came and set our strings this morning it was five inches thick What? You're not paying for concrete? No. Well, I mean, no. Not really. But, what I'm getting at is we might run short. <laughs> but if I'm a half short, half yard short, that's gonna suck. This mud is sticky, bro. Darn it, Raul. I can write in the eyeball. Ah, oh, I got that concrete in my eye, man. Gosh, darn it. Oh, the truck's here, that's a good thing. Yeah, we've been starting at 5.30 and it's been fine. But it's starting to not be as light, so. We're gonna have to uh, bump our mud to six. 
tough thing is it's just been super hot. Yesterday it was got up to 100 degrees, but shoot, we were we were stamped out and sitting on the tailgate by 9:20. Today it'll be much the same. It'll this thing will this thing's gonna be done in no time. It's a five sack blend we got going here at a five and a half inch pump. I haven't smoked a cigarette in over 10 years and man, still sometimes I get a whiff of that thing in the morning like that and it's just like, oh man. Uh, this bay is 12 feet. I need to get to that plumbing probably. Hey, lift that up, I'll move you down. One of the OGs teach you that? <laughs> the maestro? I don't think we're gonna make it on that next truck. There's just no way. No way. I don't think I'm gonna make it on that next truck. Dude, this thing was thicker. Well, it was it was thicker, dude. It was like five inches out there in the middle. So, yeah, there's five right here. 5.77, but more like because I just went all the way big here. So, looking at about five. This is 12. Over five there to finish. And what do we got? 17. There's no way. I'm gonna be way shy. Freaking way shy. Two yard cleanup, probably. Look at that buck. It's a buck. It's got the horn. Yeah. Yeah. How many years? Look at right there. I can't hardly see his horns. He looked like like a little. Oh, yes, yeah, probably something like that. It looked like a, like a three by three. Three? No, three. Three, three. three. Yeah. How many? Uh, one year for for one piece. Or? I don't know how that works. I don't think so. I think it just is whatever. I don't know. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah. We would have been fine if it was, you know, four inches, four and a half inches, but five, this five. thing was five inches. Five a lot of here, yeah. yeah. A lot. That'll be a good hearty slab, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's a little house, though. It'll be house, huh? Little, little house. That's big. It's, it's no, it's 1,400 square feet. That's little. Mm. It'd be perfect though for you and the, in the Haina. <laughs> yeah. You and the, you and the wife. <laughs> yeah. Where is this ladder? Huh? Look at another one. Hey, make you hungry? You like to eat the deer? Yeah, me too. Bueno. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a little spike or something. He's got a little, little one. He's hiding behind them black oaks. Yeah. November is for deer, so no. November, December. For uh, the hunting. Yeah. I don't know what it is in California, but I think it's like, yeah, I think it's like November or November, something like that, uh, November, December, I, but I don't know. A lot of, pay, a lot of money license or not? Like, uh, live deer? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even know. I've never hunted deer in California. I only hunted deer in Idaho. Also what? Oh yeah, bigger deer. They're yeah. white, white tail. Here in California, they're black tail, smaller deers. Oh yeah. In, in Idaho, they're white, white, white tail. They're big deers. Yeah, they're beautiful. Problem is, is that there's too many people up there now. Everybody's hunting. In Idaho? Yeah, there's a lot of people in Idaho now. When I lived there, it was nice, slow. I lived in northern Idaho, up in Coeur d'Alene, way up 
by Canada. In the winter time, you get a lot of snow. It's cold. I don't, ice, I don't like it. Yeah. I lived in Washington too. Yeah. Yeah. They're picking up us for three, maybe four years. And, uh, and Wenatchee, Washington. Wenatchee? Yeah, I've been to Wenatchee. Yeah, picking pears. Yeah. One month picking pears. Uh, one almost uh, six weeks uh, picking apples. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's too cold. I lived in Spokane. Oh, in Spokane? Yeah, I lived mm. in Spokane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to college playing baseball in Spokane. Taking forever to get that other truck over here. Let's go. Hey, so Edgar, Saturday, little a little porch here. The garage, the garage, little porch, a little porch back there. Easy. You, Raul, Stan, and Willie. I won't be. I won't be here on Saturday. I'm going camping. Yeah, I'm gonna go camping today and stay till Sunday. My little, my little Mijo, he's excited. No, we're going to Little Grass Valley. For, yeah. So hey, you know how they red flagged me on that driveway? Yeah. So I went down to the county yesterday, and everything was done right. They just, they just want a permit. I'm like, do you guys need a piece of felt in? Do you need me to take the rebar out? A certain amount, you know, they're like, oh no, everything looks great. We just need you to buy a permit. <laughs> and I'm like, even with, you know, like that driveway at that end is only like five, five feet or four feet wide, you know, and it comes up to the road, you know? Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, we gotta have you pay for a permit. And it's like 330 bucks. I was like, okay, but that's not a problem. The problem was, is that it messed my schedule all up, you know? And you know, nine times out of 10, you don't even get, they don't even mess with you on something like that, you know? Even the lady I talked to first down there, she was she was like, that's pretty petty. She had pictures of it. <laughs> I go, I agree. Whose hat is that? Uh, Who's, is that a company? Oh, oh. Cat, Brian Taylor, yeah. Oh, who's Brian Taylor? Oh, this is, pretty big. is he? You pour for him? Oh. Where's he out of? Yuba City? Yeah. Right? Oh, Yuba City guy? Oh, okay. That's why I never heard of him. What do you think, Nick? Start partying again? We're going to be about two yards short. All right. <laughs> well, I'll leave you over there. <laughs> just back him right in right over there and just tailgate it. Why not, huh? I think we'll Okay. Yeah, he... It look, it's looking like two, two and a half shy. I want to see how far this this goes. Yeah, it's a little house lab. This this cakewalk here. These are nice days like this. Yesterday was so stressful. I did a stamp patio, or a stamp. It was a it was in an L shape along the side of a house and back side of a house. And uh, I just bought those new magnetic stamps with the Ashler slate, those Pro Line ones. And uh, we had like fence poles all the way along the edge of it. And there was an AC unit at the beginning and we had it up against the house. And even with those magnetic stamps, it was, it was tough, dude. You know, there was a lot of detail work, a lot of touch up stuff we had to do. Learning curve on the new stamps, the whole nine yards. So, oh yeah, I got a good deal on them too. I think I paid, uh, or I paid 24, 2400 for, and it comes with six four by four stamps. Two, two uh, floppies and uh, and like a half stamp and then a couple detail tools. That's a pretty good little gig. Beautiful. What's up, buddy? Yeah, man, we got this. We used this yesterday. This is a new tool that's superior. I got from Superior, and it's pretty trick. It's got a half inch edger on it. So I mean, you could use it as just a walking edger Fresno combo, which is nice. But then also he's got this attachment right here where you can adjust the border. So what we do is we lay it down, we bull float it, we let it set up a little bit, and then we'll go around and edge it with this and put that line all the way around. 
and then uh, we'll let it set up again and then we'll just go through it with our Clancy and clean it up and it works awesome and Superior's got this little this little attachment here boy we got it tight it's so tight I can't even loosen it but it's a super nice tool really nice tool and we do a lot of borders so this tool will come in will come in handy Actually, kind of chilly out this morning, which is nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're right down the road. Don't be surprised if I come creeping over to you. <laughs> so you said that you're gonna you're gonna dove you dove hunt on the river. I dove hunt everywhere. It just depends on where I want to go or where my buddies want. Dude, this is my first year getting back into it, man. If you wouldn't mind, freaking take me out on a hunt, dude. Yeah. Me and my dad are probably just gonna either go to the river or somewhere on Butte Creek. Yeah, so uh, download this app called Onyx. Yeah, show me it. Onyx. Okay. That's just a, a good hunting app, so it tells you all your zones. For a dove and everything? Deer, dove, all that, so like, it'll tell you like what areas you can hunt in, who owns this, the Plymouth National Forest. That's cool, Onyx. Is it O-N-X? Yeah. Onyx Hunt, got it. I appreciate that, man. Tough thing is I don't have a dog, man. Well, that's cool, man, that helps out big time. Get some waders and stuff. I'll take you out to okay. the line, so. Cool. I used to do all that stuff when I was younger, man. I loved it. Rising in. See how far this truck gets this but It's looking like we're going to need a couple yards. It's so cold right now, I ain't even worried about it. I'll just wait until we run out and then I'll measure it up, call it in, I ain't tripping on it. I mean, it's cool right now. It is. It wasn't cool like this yesterday. The weather has been just so bizarre, man. One day it's 92, the next day it's 105. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it'll jump 10 degrees on you quick. How you liking that thing? A little bulky. I think once you wear it down a little bit, yeah. get rid of that, and it works that surface in a little bit, I think you'll be, I think you'll like it. It's got, has it got good weight on it? No. You know what I'm worried about is it, what I'm worried about it, is it warping because of the freaking, because of it being wood, you know? Scott said he'd switch out that, that, whatever that it was what is that a pro float that i bought the one that was plastic the uh -huh. black one that had a twist in it yeah he said he'd switch it out for me because i think that's a nice float dude if you freaking if it's flat it's all what you prefer your own preference you know what i mean yeah. everybody's using different stuff and i think it's just what you like you know yeah we need a little mud over here Should be getting pretty close to running out here in a second.
dude. <laughs> he strikes again. <laughs> no, these things, you can't break these things, bro. It's all good, bro. Come on. I'm glad you did that. It was facing... Well, it was getting you both loading, that's good, but... That truck has got to be close to being out of concrete. You gonna make it? I think we got it. You got enough in the hose now, don't you? No? Oh, come on. He's out. No, he ain't. Yeah, he's out now. You got it, Nick? Cut that one close. Got a little thinner in there on that second part over there because it sure didn't calc out at five inches. So must have been around four and a half, four, four and a half. Which is really good. Edgar, Edgar, throw me a little bit of concrete in that hoyo right there. Gracias. A lot of bleed water, dude. Man, I'm hungry. See you guys, thank you. Raul, let's go corner here. Straight off this corner. Boom. Straight off that corner. Boom. Straight off that corner. Boom. Cut this one in half. Bink. Cut this one in half. Bink. And then I think we'll just do a joint here one off of there and one down the middle of that okay. uh uh actually instead of going off the middle of that one let's go off plumbing all the way down hey buddy Ooh, how are you good uh 19 and a half made it really? i ordered 19 and a half <laughs> Beautiful. yeah and i mean you can see i mean we were th that wheelbarrow is what he had in his hopper oh my god yeah so it was i was like really nick you're gonna freaking pin it i'm like really dude i actually thought because we were when we started we were like five inches thick right out there right and i was like dude i'm gonna need two two yard cleanup but i had talked to tom and tom was like yeah no biggie but worked out we didn't need didn't even i know me too i love it when a plan comes yeah i know that's awesome we can actually look like we know what we're doing huh all right where did i put my mag float i'm gonna freaking that one's mine. That 
clean mine. So what we do on these slabs is we cut our expansion joints in with our torpedoes and then we both load it back and it'll crack right on those. those cuts that we made so we have a cut here too you can kind of see it it's just got cream in it we cut the rock back put the cream in and it'll crack right on those some contractors they just won't let them crack out some want it saw cut but um this particular contractor wants us to cut them in bowl float it and we can have a controlled crack Looks clean. Freaking mud, dude. Does vapor barriers, man? It made all that water just sit right on the top. Mm -hmm. I am gonna start rolling my stuff up, and I'll probably cut out of here early if you don't mind. Because I'm gonna, I need to go and pack and do all that, all that good stuff. That's right. Yeah, you got that right. I'm starving. Yeah, you got it. I got a freaking nozzle in my truck. I bought three the other day and we're already down to one. Dude, can you believe it? Dude, can you believe that though? Oh, here's one right here, bro. Put, put this on her. Hey, you want a monster? Okay. A couple new tools that we got from the Superior the other day. More tools that we got are these uh, step tools. So a lot of times when we have a step, you'll use a cove tool and it'll give you a rounded inside edge. And a lot of times, I mean, I would say 50% of the time that radius edge will have a crack going through it. And so we started putting this on here. And what this does is it pretty much creates a joint right at the inside edge of your step. And so we're creating a weak point right there and then just having that step crack there anyways. But it gives it that beveled edge and it just makes it look way cleaner, way better. I really, really like these. These are, these are the way to go. Got the nose. He's ain't even, he doesn't even have these out on the market, but little joiner that comes to a point. You can get up underneath weep screeds really good and it's just really nice. He's got these little miniature Clancy's. These are really nice for like your last pass to clean up your joints one more time, you know, when it's pretty hard. You can get them really straight with this big one, it's heavy. And then, you know, our last pass, we'll use this little guy. It works really good. A couple cool tools, though, that we picked up. Hey, I'm going to put this in your truck. Okay. But these little quick release things that he's got, or oh, man, they're just so cool. Really nice. We love them. It's quality stuff. We also got a one of Superior's new rakes, concrete rakes. We're still getting used to it. They're a little bit different, but but they're quality. So I mean, you can see the difference. This is a craft here, and this is just just thrash. You know, these typically break off. 
Marshalltown's the same way. This is Superior's new rake. And then he's got these notches right here. So if you're grading, you got a four inch slab, six inch slab, eight inch slab, 12 inch slab. So you can check your grade right on your string line. Boom, going like that. But it's all solid. I like it. Cool stuff coming out of Superior, man. If you guys, uh, if you guys are concrete finishers, you guys need to get on their website, check his stuff out. He also sells Pro Line stuff, and then he does stuff with Marshalltown as well. So, whatever he doesn't make, he has. So, like, I just went and got my new magnetic Pro Line stamps from from Scott down at Superior, and he has, you know. He has color and spray release and poles, Marshalltown poles, Marshalltown aluminum rods. I mean, he's got everything, but he's a super nice guy and he is passionate about concrete, which I dig. camping my family is waiting for me these guys are going to finish up they probably got another hour here but um pretty simple deal it's always good too when you can see you can see that indentation right there of our joint where it's going to be and that's just cream you know it'll crack right on that it'll look really nice all these foundations get covered anyway so guys really don't get too worried about it but and you can see that one coming through right there yeah they'll hit this a couple more times and it'll be done and then we're gonna pour that garage and this back patio with a couple steps on Saturday. I won't be here but the guys will be. They'll knock it out, make it look beautiful. That's it. 